another one bites the dust, and another one gone, and another one gone, another one bites the dust. Dan, 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 da dan, 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 dan. You see, <laughs> Rivian has just cut their staff for the third time this year, following in Tesla heels of going bankrupt. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. How did we, could we have seen companies like Rivian, Tesla, and a lot more, Fisker, a lot of them are gonna go bankrupt. It is very simple. You don't have to be a genius. Common sense, they have a failed business model. So <clears throat> remember I also spoke guys about China's GDP. And <laughs> last year when we Neo put out record numbers, they timed it perfectly here in the West and said, China's economy is slowing down. It's contracting. <laughs> And Xi Jinping said in the yearly speech that they are going to implement things that will grow the economy by 6% plus this year, and that's a lot. And people said they were doubtful. Well, they said they were gonna grow it by using the technology industry, mainly the EV industry. And I reported on that. Well, so far, China has grown 5% plus in the first quarter. Surprise, surprise. So I was listening to Bloomberg Radio this morning and they mentioned that and they sounded like they were shocked. But how wasn't money making Mitch shock? You see, they were not shocked. This is the game I'm telling you guys, they continuously play over and over. So let's do this. Neo ET7 with 150 kilowatt battery, remember we mass marketing it now, achieves 1,070 kilometers in real life challenge. Neo tested the ET7 range with the 150 kilowatt battery on three routes in its latest challenge, achieving 1,070 kilometers and 1,046 kilometers respectively. Neo with the 150 kilowatt semi-salted battery pack achieved a real world range of up to 1,070 kilometers, according to data released yesterday by the electric EV maker. So in sharp contrast to that, take a look at Tesla's performance and then we shall continue. Take a look at this clip guys. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed that video because that's a real life Tesla compared to our baby Neo. You see, this is why I keep saying and I'll keep saying it. And a lot of people, people keep coming on my channel saying, why are you bash? I'm not bashing. I'm helping to wake you up so that you don't lose all your money. You see, one of my subscribers made an incredible comment this morning where he said, when their earnings report come out next, and they showed how much they lost yet again, not just from Model 3 being destroyed, because BYD coming out with that other car yet again, excuse me, that's targeting the Model 3, but when it shows the lack of sales from the stainless steel homeless encampment that they tout as a Cybertruck, you will see what happens to the share price yet again. Hmm. You're gonna say, money making missions because of you. It's not because of me. It's because of your boy Elon, the Martian. Now, some of my subscribers um, <laughs> made some comments. So I'd just like to point them out before continuing. I think you guys will find it very interesting. On Monkey Jim 999, Cybertruck is a disaster for Tesla. It shouldn't be driven in the rain as it will stain or go rusty. Yes, it is. They're staining and becoming rusty. It also has a low build quality. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You cannot even stop it. You cannot even, when you accelerate, you can't even take your foot off the accelerator. Bota Ninja. Elon was banking literally 
on having poor quality cars. That is absolute truth. I want you guys to wrap your head around what this guy is saying. He recognized that you don't make money on selling cars. He realized the money was in aftermarket parts. That's where the gross margins are. So he executed his business plan to perfection. The problem is he never counted on a better business model coming along. Woo! Neo came along. BYD came along. Xiao Pong came along. Li Oro came along. Xiao Mi came along and put him to sleep. The problem is he never counted on a better business model coming along. A model that addresses range, anxiety, battery degradation, and a faster, more convenient way of charging battery swapping. Now he is losing market share to better technology and only has one move on his chessboard, which is to lower the cost of each vehicle. It's a matter of time before the queen catches up to the pawn. The board has only so many spaces and moves. <laughs> I love it, my brother. This is from Bota Ninja. Incredible. Uh, um, the way he categorized that, the way he broke that down, you see, and he's absolutely right. I didn't even think of that. Elon didn't think that he had to put out a quality product, just like when the Americans did with Ford and Chevy and GM and all that back in the day. And Toyota came with a superior technology and a better quality and took over the market. Yes, and the American auto industry never catched up to Toyota. It's the same. History will repeat itself, my dear lads. If, and this is from Ciaran Canning. If Tesla ever starts producing electric boats or planes, they should also provide the bonus gifts of life jackets or parachutes. Well said, well said. So we also spoke about um, the China 5% GDP plus in the first quarter. And before we get further into that, listen to this. And I spoke about how China, and I even showed that video of uh, Mukesh Mahubani, that incredible intellect from uh, Malaysia, Indian Malaysian guy that was educated in Harvard and what he spoke about showing every time analysts come out and say, well, China economy is gonna slow down and China economy is gonna slow down. China, they keep growing and growing and growing, showing do not listen to the rhetoric because of what Wall Street is doing is different to what Bloomberg and Yahoo and their, their uh, bots are telling you. Charging app made by NEO exceeds 5 million registered users. NEO exceeds 5 million registered users accessing charging facilities covering 91% of Chinese cities. NEO has one of the largest charging networks in China. People keep forgetting that and keep saying, well, where is the money going to come from, money-making Mitch? As I go through this article, it will blow your mind as to where we would be getting money from everything. You see, back in the day when the guy was going to dig for the gold, the guy who sold the shovels made more. So NEO has one of the largest charging networks in China and has also built a popular charging app. Jia Dian, which literally means add power, I prefer Jia Dian, saw the number of registered users surpass 5 million on April 17. The electric vehicle maker announced today brand recognition, brand recognition, brand recognition, but it gets better. The mobile app, which was launched by NIO in September 2019 and claims to support 90% of public charging piles in China, saw the number of registered users exceed 4 million on November 30th, 2023. And Zhang Yan app is NIO's power platform to provide energy replenishment services to all EV owners, offering features including scanning, charging QR codes, smart park planning, route navigation, and community interaction, NIO said today. So, in addition, NEO 2,402 battery swap stations and 21,912 charging piles according to the company. We have that now. So, excuse me guys, notice I said 2,402 battery swap stations. My last video was 2,400. Yes, we added two more. And you're going to see the massive ramp up now in this month going forward of how many battery swap stations we cross. 42 million now swaps, I believe. And, and it's just increasing at a massive rate. I think we're doing over 250,000 swaps a week, a week. 
The revenue coming in is going to be yummy for the tummy. So for the trolls, I say to them, how you like them apples, boy? The charging facilities accessed by the app covers 336, 63 cities in China with an overall coverage rate of 91%, Neo said. But I'm going to skip through all that and get to the yummy, yummy, yummy for the tummy stuff. Oh, now, the Xi'an Dian app is also expected to start offering a membership feature at the end of May when users can pay to become a member and enjoy charging discount benefits, according to the EV maker. So this is how we pull them into our chargers. We have more than anybody else, and we're going to continue to build up more than any other EV company in China. So why not offer a little fee? You pay a little fee, you get to use us, while the rest of them freeze to death, trying to use Tesla chargers that fail like we saw in Chicago, where they had to become rescued. So... The mobile app saw over 1 million registered users in June 2022. And before we go on with this video, I would like you guys to take a look at this little clip where you see, I keep saying it, when you get to my age, you understand the game. And this is why I'm trying to bring the awareness to the game to you guys so you wake up and understand what's going on. When they're telling you like Jim Cramer, like he, they were, he was telling you to buy Rivian on the high end and now it's going to go bankrupt. They will tell you to sell soon. Watch. And they also tell you to stay away from China. But take a look at this clip of what they're doing while they tell you to stay away and then we shall continue. Goodbye London and New York. Hello Asia. A massive underground ocean of investor money is quietly moving from West to East, money managers are saying. And as new Chinese, Indian and Indonesian firms head for stock market listings, the trend can only accelerate. Now this eastward flow of cash is largely hidden by the focus on short-term results, but will ultimately be a game changer, analysts are saying. The London Stock Exchange is broken, a company boss said on April the 10th as he delisted his shares. One of a number of CEOs doing the same thing he says he might head across the Atlantic to the US. But Wall Street itself is struggling with a similar problem. There too, the number of listed firms is shrinking. But, but, but I hear you say, isn't the US economy thriving and the Chinese economy struggling? Mm, as we say in Hong Kong. That means kind of, sort of, maybe, ish. Today's lead story in the FT says, US to grow at double rate of G7 peers this year, says IMF. Sounds good, until you read the small print, which says that US growth will be just 2.7%, meaning G7 growth is half that. The world's most powerful money manager, Jamie Dimon, complained about this specific issue recently. He said, for over two decades since 2000, America has grown at an anemic rate of 2%. In comparison, China's GDP has grown at an average rate of higher than 9% a year and kept that up over the past three decades. That's the big picture in economic terms. But let's zoom in on the issue of stock markets. Never mind that some markets are down and some are up. Top analysts today are looking at numbers of listed companies over the long term and finding an interesting trend. Let's start with Wall Street. Jamie Dimon. Uh, notice that the number of listed firms in Wall Street has been quietly falling for many years. From their peak in 1996 at 7,300, US public companies now total 4,300. The total should have grown dramatically, not shrunk, he said in his annual letter released recently. Other finance specialists agreed with him. Indeed, strip out the Magnificent Seven, as the major tech companies are known, and the US market has performed almost as badly as the British one, said Matthew Lynn writing in the UK Daily Telegraph. The number of listed companies has plummeted and the amount of money raised in London listings in the past year fell to a 15 year low. Welcome back guys. Now, Tim Shaw, an analyst, just said this yet again. He said, he believes the Chinese EV market has matured enough that successful EV makers will now have to tap a larger market focus on lower priced vehicles. 
He summarized it by saying China's EV market is now well past the early adopter stage, unlike here in America, of the S-curve and firmly into mass adoption. This is what we were getting to, guys. We brand recognition, now mass adoption. The shift means previously niche startup EV players need to cash chase volume in the mass market. Neo's management also likely believes that to be the case. The company plans to reveal a new mass market sub-brand next month. If it follows in line with other Chinese EV makers launching lower price brands, it could offer vehicles priced as low as $20,000. And the analyst, this is on the Motley Fool, I believe, guys. I got this off my uh, SoFi app, fools.com. So he also spoke about how much revenue the battery swap stations are going to continue to generate as they grow the energy industry, the energy aspect, and so many other things he got into, but you can get this on the fools.com on the headlines. So again, I say to you guys, as people panic and poop in their pants, and as the Tesla fag bags come on here to scare you and the shorts to hopefully hope that you sell, or don't listen to money making Mitch. I agree with them, you shouldn't listen to me. Do your own due diligence and research. This is not financial advice. I just tell you based on what I'm seeing, based on my experience on the market, based on my research, you have to do your own research. But what they're essentially telling you to do is sell and take a huge loss. Knowing fully well that this company is gonna be a behemoth and a monster corporation while Tesla go completely bankrupt like Rivian, like um, Fisker, like so many others, they are gonna fall out of the race. Bota Ninja uh, summarized it perfectly. You see, Elon did not anticipate other EV companies coming along so quickly and scaling up and becoming so technologically advanced so quickly like Neo that he thought he would make an inferior product like all the other American cars. That's why people in America don't buy American cars. Most of them buy Toyota because the American auto, uh, auto manufacturers felt the same way. If we make something that starts breaking down at 30,000 miles and people have to keep buying parts, we keep, right? We keep selling. So this is what he was thinking, but he never anticipated that the Chinese will come out with a superior product and blow him out the water. And then he will have to run to China. Maybe next he will go to Uganda. Maybe he will go to Somalia. We don't know where he plans to go, but wherever he go, the boogeyman Neo will follow. So I hope you guys found this video to be informational, inspirational, and motivational. If so, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up before you depart. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we're waking up the middle class to get a piece of the pie. And like 50 said, we have that warrior mindset where we get rich or we die trying, guys.